Hello. Welcome into Robin's Realm Readings. Welcome in, my loves. I have Pebble Santu that was di uh, dipped into Nakchampa. Very sacred, very holy smells. These are designed to clear energy. Hmm? Auric fields help you to have clear energy and no negative vibes whatsoever are allowed around you or me. As I go to read with my guides and your guides, with the divine, to tap into your collective love energies and general energies because sometimes it isn't just love, like love or romance love, more, more like a supernatural kind of love that you find that goes on in, in these readings. I, I know it's really kind of unusual. I'm just bringing forth what I can bring forth. I'm using my attract love naturally around my face and on my neck. Step one. Step two is to clear any auric field energies around me. Negative, clear black magic and spells. That goes around my whole orbs around me, guys. Stuff's amazing. $11 a bottle. You'll freaking love it. Uh, very potent. And then I finish it off with my clear uh, sacred anointing spray, which is really lovely. You can get this on Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Robin's Realm Readings. Designed for Reiki masters, hands-on practitioners, healers, meditation practices, deep devotional sessions, and clearing auric fields. Yes, it's beautiful. Everybody loves it. All right. So Miss Robin's a busy girl. Forgive me if I'm like super unavailable or, you know, sometimes we forget. We're just busy. I come to you now to bring forth this beautiful energy and see what's happening in the collective in love. And thank you for your likes, you know, like in the video, right? All that is is advertising for people to find it, other people, spirit. Before I start, come in, Archangels. Come in, Archangel Michael, specifically. I need you to block in our negative energies that would be present or before, during, or after this video production for my space and for the beloved believers that need to hear this message for encouragement for the day. Mm -hmm. It is divinely protected. I thank you for your presence. And I love you good, better, and different. So it won't be all right, all right. Mm -hmm. No haters. Yep. Let's see what the angels want to say to you guys. This is for Wednesday. I'm going to be live Wednesday night at 7. So if you'd like me to answer any questions, any burning issues you might have <clears throat> that you really don't know, I'll be glad to pull a few cards and give you some guidance. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to, to look into that for you. And there is a donation, at least $5. Um, I do dare say that's only fair. It's minimum. That's live donation. Now, members of my Patreon... <clears throat> My Patreon members, if you're active, you get free answers. I won't go deep, but I will give you something quick between readings because on the 7th, we're going to have our member meeting again, and we're going to answer your questions there live. Hi, we'll talk about all that fun stuff and how you guys are doing. Encourage each other. Archangel, what is the energy? And um, this small donation monthly to support my work, you guys. It's very... Um, very nice that those who do, I want to give you the biggest love in the whole wide world. I thank you. I give back gifts every month. I do it on purpose. I want you to know that I appreciate you and that you should be as just as empowered as you're empowering me. So then I will give you the greatest gift of all. And that's believing in you. If you believe in me. Thank you. Here it is. Don't know who it is. Let's find out. Oh. Sensitivity. Okay, then. So people are on edge. We've just, oh, my head just got a bit. That's weird. Angel Haniel is very kind and a kind and gentle energy for Wednesday. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. It's like today I spent the whole damn day hanging out, right? Uploading videos because it took forever to upload and I'm still not done with them all. I still have to make sure my, my Scorpios to Pisces get up 
And I don't know what's going on with the airways. I don't know what's going on with the energies other than what I sense personally. You guys, take good care of yourself. Pull back. You know, unplug a little. Do something really cool if you can, if you have the uh, uh, opportunity to do something. If you work hard and you're stressed out at work, bring a headset or something. Bring something where you can do a quick self-phagia or do a meditation on break. Get yourself back into grounded and into your supernatural sensitive state. That's what I just got from that. We would like to have another... Excuse me. That's what I get for eating croissants. <laughs> we would like to have another car, uh, companion archangel for my beautifuls to come in and help. Show us. Counselor. Counselor. Many of you are counselors, or you'll meet counselors, or you'll be going to counselors on this day. That's what I get. Someone that can give you some good advice or help you to ground, help you to make sense out of something crazy. But actually, the truth is, you are the one. You're going to be counseling someone who's sensitive today. And I would take very much heed of the source where you get your counsel from. And your spiritual energy, okay? Because the Archangel Azrael does not play. This is very serious stuff. That's why these tarot readers like myself say to you that you have to take what applies to you and leave the rest. We don't, we're not counseling. We're tapping into energy fields and information out there psychically that has, is completely relevant to your situation. Okay? Somebody's situation and every one of these tarot readers has tapped into someone. Some keep tapping into the same people. I'm tapping into you. Whoever you are, if you're watching my channel, you are called here for one reason or another. And I thank you for being here, my loves. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So, Holy Spirit, how nice you are to everyone. You're giving us some counsel and guidance, and we know that we're not alone. But we would like to know what the energies actually are. We are making sure that... These energies are relative to romance as well, mostly. My ears are popping. What is going on? I feel like there's pressure on the earth as I'm reading this tonight. The garden and the gate. Someone needs to talk about their decision to leave something and go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Spirit, we're trusting you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. We give credit and glory to Jesus because that's our master. Mine, I can do that. If it wasn't for him, I would not be here doing this for you. I would never have made it through everything I've gone through. So I'm testifying that I am saved. Yeah, whatever that means. You may not understand it. You may not believe it. I'm also open to much uh, love, much different interpretations. I love I love Hindi. Yes. Yes. I love Buddha. I love Buddhist. Oh, yes. Very much. I've actually lived both of those lives in the past lives. So I know. And my past life last time, uh, which is I find very intriguing, was um, I was actually very sensitive myself. But I was, it was in the 30s. And I remember I was given a past life uh, review of it real quick so they could show me. I wanted to know a question as to why something keeps happening over and over. I dare say if you really want to know what your over soul would like to tell you, they only wait till you're ready. So be sincere when you ask your guides, right? Just kind of be in there and be sincere and then stop and listen. Archangel Gabriel is always telling me that people don't listen. They don't listen and they fall into error and they fall into disobedience against the spiritual guidance that is exactly designed for their path. Here you go. Cornucopia, guys. Finally opening up a gate. Finally talking about this twin flame. Finally getting the help you need to talk about this twin flame journey, which is very, very weird. Okay? May you be empowered if this applies to you. If not, you're going to be empowered anyway, because look at the generosity in this card. Someone is extremely blessed today. I think doors are opening. I think 
abundance is happening, and I think you all deserve it. I believe this is master number 11. It's a spiritual portal opening, so you have everything that you need. Someone needs to tap in to hear. Oh my God, it is indeed about a twin flame journey. Oh, again, my counselors, please understand from the feminine perspective of a twin flame journey, we're working our asses off. Do you understand? We, this is tough for us as a feminine. Too much imbalance needs to be corrected. Please guide very carefully. Thank you for your love to inflame. Whatever it is, if you're not coming forward to make something happen, at least be good in the background. All right? At least be praying for your twin. At least be sending love to your twin. I do. Part of me can't hack it. You know, you have to. Do you love yourself? Now, this is a soulmate as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be a twin flame. This is someone you're connected to that's going to help you to make sense of your life. Yes, and they're helping you to cut cords. Archangel Michael has indeed come for you tomorrow, for Wednesday, today. Archangel Michael is not going to toy. When you sincerely know what you need and you go after it, you're going to find it. He will also help you to cut cords in your count. Take your own counsel, he says. This is Red Chakra. He's helping someone to deal with their sexual addiction that broke up a twin flame unit. <gasps> I always take my breath when I get the real message because that's shockingly true. I think that's accurate. I could be wrong, and if it's not your story, you know, um, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But there's more to this story, so hang in there. Thank you for your likes. Please hit the like button for me so this channel can be discovered. Thank you. We try to keep it colorful. We try to keep it clear. We try to keep it moving and get as much in on these readings as we possibly can for you. So please join me with love and appreciation, you know, however you want to show that. I'm grateful. You know, everybody is so cool. You guys are worth every single bit of all the information they want to give you. And we're just the channels, but our channels need support. So thank you for whatever support you give us. Tell us more about Michael and the yin-yang, please. Combine those energies for us for the collective. <sighs> the thinking woman. Oh my God, the divine empress is here. Look. The soulmate is right here. Now this could be the counselor. This could be you. Or this could be the feminine they're discussing. Yes, because her number adds up to 11 as well. Four and seven. She's following her heart. She's cleaned up her act. She's put on her hat. So she's not, um, she's in a holy state. She's really beautiful and elegant. And she's focusing on what she's doing. She's not paying attention to outside influences very much. She's only being as positive, positive as she possibly can with her life. And not bothering anybody. Okay? Keep going, Spirit. Tell us about the yin yang cornucopia energy in this reading. What is it? I'm curious to know. It is, um, again, twin flame. Patience. Again. I keep hearing in this, this song. Keep trying to get down to the heart of the matter. But my will gets weak, and my thoughts seem to scatter, but I'm thinking about forgiveness, forgiveness, even if, even if you don't love me anymore. That's what I hear. Hallelujah. Sorry if my voice is wonky. That's who's here to talk. Guess who's here to have this conversation with, with somebody and get some counseling and healing. Mm -hmm. Archangel Gabriel, what did that say? It is about the throat chakra loves. Someone needs to do a, a Reiki session. Um, I do Reiki sessions where I can help you vamp up all of your chakras and clear your auric field and reset it. And it starts at the bottom of your feet and you work your way up and around three times. 
and you will be able to speak your truth when this is done. That's what this reading is about. This is someone's been on the hangman, unable to communicate, and they have abundance to say. Wow, they have a lot to say. Gabriel, are you going to give instruction to our beautiful collective? All right, collective, let's see how you're showing up individually here. Well, you're showing up as somebody who's got their head shade of other gay. You're balanced. <laughs> Pink Latin. You're balanced. Uh, yeah. You're keeping it balanced. You're keeping it in check. You want to check the contract. You want to make sure Michael's looking at you. He goes, are you sure you want this contract? You sure you want this? You better be sure you want this. All right? Wow. What about the, uh, what about the, uh, the person that is in your person? Let's say your person, spirit. Let me put this here. Your person's showing up as finally opening up, finally communicating their needs, finally finding what it is that they really want, finally talking to someone about it, finally dropping off all the dredgy, drudgery and mistaken things, finally getting rid of heavy loads, feeling light and vibrating, but they do have to understand that if they're dealing with a sexual addiction or attachment to a twin flame, this is a problem. Why do you think the twin flame left? Why would a twin flame close the door on you unless you were absolutely incredibly dark or difficult? Someone is getting rid of the darkness. Please do. Okay. All right. And the collective energy between you besides what we've seen so far. At this point the door to spirit is here do you realize that you guys are having communications from the other side too 32 um yeah three is communication and there are three over here communication commitment you're six you're like i'm holding it up i'm holding up a contract i'm holding you up in prayer i'm loving on you whoever you are i love you i'm holding you up i'm praying for you for your best interest i'm praying that you come through i'm praying that you get the help you need I'm praying that you, I can get over anything that bothers me because I know who you are. Wow, spirit. You are not playing with this reading. No, I thank you for it, though. Love and romance, angels. Come in for our collective, please, for Wednesday, March 2nd. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday, by the way. Right? Here we go. Look at you guys doing it. Calling in your soulmate. It is about the throat chakra, Archangel Gabriel. It is about counseling, talking. It's about the soulmate, the twin flame. It is indeed about that. Okay, let's get onto the cards and take a look at what Tarot says about this matter. Oh my goodness gracious. I seal the best part of this reading. And I seal it, and I seal it, and I seal it for healing and for love in its highest form for you. Here goes. Show us Holy Spirit, guys. Bring into me the uh, elements of air, fire, water, earth, ether. I need to know what everyone needs to hear just for this reading, to get them through this day, to know what energies are about, what, uh, what they can, you know, Everyone needs a little bit of divine instruction. They need a little connection, and I don't mind being that person. Thank you so much, you guys. Just one of many, right? We're all just one of many. We're like, here you go. You're showing up as the most beautiful being ever. Look at you. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I am so, I am so kind. Listen, I forgave you the minute you did it, but you just didn't know that. See, I know who you are. You are indeed my past life partner, my soulmate, my twin flame. Yep, that's who you guys are. You know exactly who you are. Um, what is on? Ooh, ooh, they did not want to stop. They wanted me to keep reading. What is on your mind, though, in relation to this energies on Wednesday? What is the collective's mind space about this relationship? Obviously thinking. You want to get off the hangman state. You want to know something, dang it. You know a lot. Hangman gets there and he goes, 
Man, I've been waiting around a long time. No more waiting around. Your mind isn't waiting around anymore for anything particular. Why just why is that, please? Because you gotta put down burdens. There's crap. Mental burdens, emotional burdens. Gotta put them down. Thinking how to put them down. About a third party energy or something that got in the way, something you were building or something you are building at this time. Um, what is on the heart space of our beautiful collective? Money, kindness, commitment, intellect, intuition, connection, beauty, abundance, possibly marriage. Hmm. I'll leave her there. Tell us about the significant person for the collective on this reading. Hmm. Why do you think they have to go to a counselor? They feel that was just the end, the end, the end, the end, the end. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm done. I'm trying to find a way out of this pain. I'm trying to blossom. I'm trying to get over that. Explain that to us. It is um, also being severely heavily guarded over some energy, protecting this energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say this is for all signs. If it applies, if it applies, let it apply. If it does not, let it fly, please. So we have to look at their mindset. We see where they are. They're pissed about where they are. They're not happy there. They're unhappy and they have to learn how to deal with the energy around them. Um, and they're just guarded as heck. Their mind is you. I've got to get back to my empress, my creatrix, my co-creatrix, my divine other half. Yep. What's on their heart, please? Hello. <laughs> Are you shocked? Mm. Their mind is on you, but their heart is on getting upright and being upright and understanding what it means to be an emperor and coming and coming clean and getting rid of old baggage and healing his inner child and getting counseling and therapy for it. Some of you are doing that, some of you are. Yeah, energy between you is overcoming fear, coming out of not knowing things, getting out of jail. That's being in jail, spiritual, mental, not seeing things, things being hidden from you. Not anymore. You can see things very, very clearly. This door to spirit is here. Clarify this, please. Yeah. Six of Pentacles is in reverse, though. There's no give and take at the moment yet, though. They're, they're working on their thing. Um, yeah. And... They're talking about how things failed so badly in the past. That's what they're talking to the counselor about. How did this fail? Mm -hmm. I had to go into Hermit. They went into Hermit. We all went into Hermit. Nobody talked anymore. And we got wise. We're all tired. Everybody's tired. Got one more kick back in them, though. It's becoming quite evident who the problem is in your scenario. And something's coming in to give you guys some longevity and some healing in the long run about lovers. You're going to get knowledge about lovers. Oh, my God. Yes. Do they love you? Yes. There's your answer. Deep down, your true soulmate, if they're going to therapy, you're going to therapy, somebody's working it out, that is the greatest damn thing you can do. Because you're going to end up with yourself. And that's the most important part of this whole scenario, really. Any kind of therapy, really, is to have someone that counsels you in a mature, um, unbiased way and helps you look at yourself, right? That's what therapy should be for. And therefore, during the process, they make up their mind as to who they want. Lady Nada. Now, I would say this is Lady Nada energy, if you ask me. This is somebody's heart's awakening now. This is Lady Nada energy to me. Gentle, kind, elegant, just a good woman. Very gentle. Um, I'm every woman. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. <gasps> okay. Because that Six of Pentacles, in balance. She knew it. Why should I give you everything when you give me nothing? And then you act, act all proud and arrogant when something good comes along and you take that instead of working on this with us. 
Oh, did I say that? I think I did. Whoa. But there is soul expansion happening now because of the therapy sessions. And I think it's amazing. And I'm all for it. And I just say that the best thing you can do is to send your partner, significant person, love, whether they're with you or not, whether you know what they're doing or not, it doesn't matter. May you have a good day if you like your own private reading. RobinsRoundReadings.net. Okay? Or you guys, you know. I love you. Thank you. Have a good day now. See you tonight, Wednesday night.